All right, so now we're now up to our top three, our top three TV shows of all time. So what's your number three? Number three, Breaking Bad. Ooh. Breaking Bad. Great TV. I was so late on this, so people told me about it. I was like, eh. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was latish. Yeah, and then when I watched it, the first series was it was hard. Mm. It was hard viewing. Yeah, it took me a little while to get into it. And then once you get past like the first series and get into the second, it's like. No, no, I think that was what I mean. Yeah. I began to watch it and I stopped after episode four. I was like, yeah. man, this is slow. slow. And then a friend of mine said, no, keep going, keep yeah. going. Then I just slogged through. Then once you reach the end of season one, boom, all the way through. Yeah. The only issue with Breaking Bad is I hated Jesse. But I think you're supposed to have, I don't, I, I think there's certain characters in it that you're supposed to, you know, have that kind of strong feeling towards. Yeah. I think Jesse was one of them because he's not, he's not a nice guy. Yeah, he's Firstly, freaking annoying. He's, he's he's not a nice guy, but he's he has this kind of inner conflict where he he wants to do well, but he's yeah. a fuck up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because he's a fuck up, you hate him, you know. Um, and I, I hated his wife. I hated um, uh, what's his name, uh, Heisenberg's wife, Walter White. Hated. Oh yeah, yeah, ha, ha, I remember because you, I, I felt so because it's like this guy wants to do right by his family. Yeah, and then you're just and sort of just messing there, yeah. things up. But at the same time, Walt, he's, a, Walt. he's a hardened criminal. So you, like, yeah. you shouldn't hate her because she well, should, you know, it's, it's just, there's so many different concepts. Oh, no, 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 no. I break him. I just, that's <sighs> superb show, amazing acting. I freaking hate it, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> I just hate that. No, no, but no, Breaking Bad was really, really, really ridiculous, you know, and Los Poyos. Um, yeah. My number three, 24. Yeah, never seen 24. <laughs> Should have done this show with you. But yeah, I've never seen 24, never got into it. I, be I beg of you. Yeah. Do you know, you know what crack cocaine is? Do you know what like, <laughs> drugs are? This show is literally yeah. crack co co cocaine. Like, for me, the most addictive thing I've ever done in my life. Like, it's one thing where once you get in, you mm. can't stop because it all takes place within one day. Yeah. And after an episode finishes, yeah. it ends on a cliffhanger. So, like, Oh, next episode. Yeah. Oh, next episode. So it is basically in terms of an execution of an idea and so forth. Twenty four is freaking amazing, and like Jack Bauer is amazing and so forth. No, no, like twenty four is that dude. Like twenty, it is. There is no more addictive show than twenty four, man. No way. Number two, Game of Thrones. I'll go Even Thrones. with that ending. Even with that ending, because I put it so high, and it was for me. I could have swapped two, three, and four around. Yeah. Um, but I've put it so high because the way it gripped me. Yeah, because uh, I, I used to go to the gym. Believe it or not, I used to yeah, go to yeah. the gym. And there's one morning, some people were telling me about Game of Thrones. I thought, right, I'm gonna go to the gym. Before I go, let me just watch an episode. Yeah, I watched seven episodes that day. Wow. <laughs> I never went back to the gym. Yeah, <laughs> I just watched Game of Thrones. I was like, let me wake up so I can watch the next one. And yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Because I hadn't seen like the first three series, I managed to binge watch it all together. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And yeah. it had me hooked to the point where it's like, oh, I finished it. What am I gonna do? I'll watch the first series again. It, it just got me. Uh, there's so many moving parts. It's just so well thought out. Just brilliant storytelling. So many characters that you're you're invested in. Yeah. You know, like what's his name? Joffrey. Hated that guy. Hated that bro, guy. Bro. With an unhealthy hate. Yeah. No, but, but, but obviously, like I mean, like no spoilers, but like the wedding. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. obviously, there's some things that I was like, they didn't just do that. Yeah. But what I'll say, even if I despise the ending. Yeah, it was terrible. Some of the battles. Yeah. Battle of the Bastards. Yeah. Insane. Is, insane cinematography. Is, is. Wait, wait, what's the name, name of the, the that dude, the guy at the battle of the, of the bastards that he, he fought? Uh it begins with a B. Damn it! Uh, what's his name? I don't know he was with yeah. Reek? Reek. Yeah. Oh that guy. <laughs> no, yeah. he was messed up. No, no, there no, no, there's a messed up guy. Just that yeah. that ending. Ah. Okay, yeah. my my number two is Quantum Leap. Oh, yeah. you remember Quantum I used Leap? To love Quantum Leap. One song, yeah. freaking leap. Oh, One yeah. of the best ideas for a TV show. Like mm -hmm. this was way back. So I think way it came in, in the in the eight, like late eighties, early nineties. Yeah. And basically about a guy who we see, he goes into the lives of a white guy, yeah. but he goes into the life of other guys. Yeah. So for instance, he could go into the life of a black guy during the sixties yeah. racial thing. So everyone views him as a black guy. Yeah. But we, as the audience, we see him as white, but everyone views him as a black yeah. guy. So he now has to now do something to correct a bad thing that happened in the past and, 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 and make it all good and figure out, okay, what went wrong in this guy's life? How can I make it good? So yeah. how he just jump into other people's lives and so forth, 
It's just great. So each episode is like a different situation he has to deal yeah, with, man. Yeah, I used to love that show back in the day. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, no, quality. See, this is the thing. I could go through... Yeah, another one I thought of while we were doing this. Yeah. X-Files. I used to love X-Files. You know, I haven't... I began... Because my older brother was obsessed with X-Files. Oh, and really? everyone in my school was obsessed. But I only began it, but obviously I didn't finish it. Remember yeah. the guy that could squeeze in so those yeah, tight yeah. spaces? Man, freaky. It, it was... That show scared the shit out of me, but I had to watch it. Yeah, yeah, no, no. It was, <laughs> it was freaky. Perfect. Number one, I think we can both. Yeah, yeah. Number one is the wire. The wire. Without, the wire. Without yes, a shadow of a doubt. Um, no TV shows ever had me in the way that the wire did. I was, you know, what I mean, I've seen it from start to finish about five or six times. You know, no, no. I'm, I'm trying to do my second run yeah. through because my thing is, when it's together by the wires, I see all these things that we, we've, we've named are like TV shows. Mm -hmm. The wire is like a book. Yeah. It's like it's a beginning, a middle, end, and there are five seasons. And each season, it covers a different aspect of Baltimore. So season one are uh, how criminals work. Mm -hmm. Season two is uh, how the unions work. Yeah. Season three is the war on drugs. Mm -hmm. Season four are about the, the youth yeah. and how, about how the youth yeah. are like sort of like uh, messed up. And season five is the media. Yeah. So how we're just able just to look at all different aspects and tell a quality story. It's them all in as well. And it ties them all in. The season two is the unions, but it's also how the drugs are brought in. Yeah. And who's actually benefiting from, from you know, all the drugs. Yeah. You know, because whereas season one, you're just seeing the street level. Yeah. Season two, you actually realise it's the Greeks and those who yeah. are benefiting from the likes mm. of Marlowe and you're gonna love, Fell. You, you will love Snowfall. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm it's, 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 it's not wild level. Like, why is thinking... Mm. But Snowfall is sort of in the yeah. arena, that kind of stuff. But what made The Wire so special was the character work. Because each character in that show was, was phenomenal. Yeah, like, for me, like... And especially because, like, my issue is... Obviously, when I was into acting, like... Black guys were always played stereotypical roles. Mm -hmm. So the character by Lester Freeman yeah. was like... Oh, I'm like, this is a detective. Mm -hmm. You know, and the thing is that you have police commissioners who are black. You have the drug dealers who are black. Mm -hmm. You have the police... But... One of the best characters ever. Because see, everyone goes to Omar. Yeah. Stringer yeah. Bell. Yeah. That was an amazing character. Yeah. yeah. Based, on, based on just, again, because I don't want to spoil it for guys who haven't seen him, but based on just what they were doing with him and how he was sort of leveling up and his trajectory. Like, yeah. my favorite character is D'Angelo Baxter. Yeah. That's my favorite character. Really? Oh, no, no. I, like, and it's funny, I actually, like, wrote on the Facebook that, um, you're my, like, you're my, <laughs> yeah. you're, and then he then replies that, so I'm, I'm putting on Facebook, and, and I basically see my face, because basically <laughs> I, I had his face as my Facebook yeah. profile, and, and he was like, hey, my thanks for this love and everything, um, but you know, no, I love the cast, mm -hmm. but I think it's the writing, mm -hmm. and just, it's true, it's the character accent, all the characters are so well yeah. Yeah. defined, man. I, I feel like one of my favourite characters, every time I watch it, I go back, and I'm like, yeah, I know it's something, it was Bodhi. I like that, that body, body, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause it, you, you know, how the, how did he spit like that? I just wanted to know how, yeah. how he, yeah, yeah. Was like, how does he, like, <laughs> and the initial would just like travel like that. <laughs> no, 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 body was really good. He's a really good character. Isn't it? Yeah. And just where he started, to where and he like, yeah. it's like crazy, yeah. it's crazy. You know, um, and this is where Michael B. Jordan was born. Yeah. And exactly. he looks so different. But, like, there's so many, like, for me, I, like, The Wire is just one of those shows where, <laughs> You have to invest because for some people it may, may be it may be slow, mm. but if you invest in it, it is like you see, there. I just think will be a point, but there will never be a show as good as it no. because it's like it. the writing, the everything is just so well done and so concise. It's almost impossible for any TV show to yeah, compete. It's like chess. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of moving pieces on the yeah. board, but each piece is important. Yeah, you know, I think and everything just because everything. it's like if they have like a blueprint yeah. and they've been able to just carefully map so it's like they already knew the ending see some yeah. some tv shows they have a beginning but they actually don't know the yeah. end these guys they know we know how it's going to end yeah. so we're just all putting the pieces so that the ending justifies everything that mm. came before man so yeah guys the wires are number one tv show man so guys remember where to subscribe to your boy devil and stuff and if there are any things you want us to talk about but i mean but boom we'll see you next time peace peace